I want to tell you what I see coming. I've been lucky enough to be working on AI for almost 15 years now. Back when I started, to describe it as fringe would be an understatement. Researchers would say, "No, no, we're, we're only working on machine learning," because working on AI was seen as way too out there. In 2010, just the very mention of the phrase AGI, artificial general intelligence, would get you some seriously strange looks, and even a cold shoulder. You're actually building AGI, people would say. Isn't that something out of science fiction? People thought it was 50 years away or 100 years away, if it was even possible at all. Talk of AI was, I guess, kind of embarrassing. People generally thought we were weird, and I guess in some ways we kind of were. It wasn't long though before AI started beating humans at a whole range of tasks that people previously thought were way out of reach: understanding images, translating languages, transcribing speech, playing Go and chess, and even diagnosing diseases. People started waking up to the fact that AI was going to have an enormous impact, and they were rightly asking technologists like me some pretty tough questions: Is it true that AI is going to solve the climate crisis? Will it make personalized education available to everyone? Does it mean we'll all get universal basic income and we won't have to work anymore? Should I be afraid? What does it mean for weapons and war? And of course, will China win? Are we in a race? Are we headed for a mass misinformation apocalypse? All good questions, but it was actually a simpler and much more kind of fundamental question that left me puzzled. One that actually gets to the very heart of my work every day. One morning over breakfast, my six-year-old nephew Caspian was playing with Pi, the AI I created at my last company, Inflection, with a mouthful of scrambled eggs. He looked at me plain in the face and said, "But Mustafa, what is an AI anyway?" He's such a sincere and curious and optimistic little guy. He'd been talking to Bai about how cool it would be if one day in the future he could visit dinosaurs at the zoo and how he could make infinite amounts of chocolate at home, <laughs> and why Bai couldn't yet play I Spy. Well, I said, it's a clever piece of software that's read most of the text on the open internet, and it can talk to you about anything you want. Right. So, like a person, then. I was stumped. All my boring stock answers came rushing through my mind. No, but AI is just another general-purpose technology like printing or steam. It'll be a tool that will augment us. And make us smarter and more productive. And when it gets better over time, it'll be like an all-knowing oracle that will help us solve grand scientific challenges. You know, all of these responses started to feel, I guess, a little bit defensive, and actually better suited to a policy seminar than breakfast with a no-nonsense six-year-old. Why am I hesitating? I thought to myself. You know, let's be honest. My nephew was asking me a simple question that those of us in AI just don't confront often enough: What is it that we are actually creating? What does it mean to make something totally new, fundamentally different to any invention that we have known before? It is clear that we are at an inflection point in the history of humanity. On our current trajectory. We're headed towards the emergence of something that we are all struggling to describe, and yet we cannot control what we don't understand. And so the metaphors, the mental models, the names—these all matter if we are to get the most out of AI whilst limiting its potential downsides. As someone who embraces the possibilities of this technology, but who's also always cared deeply about its ethics. We should, I think, be able to easily describe what it is we are building, and that includes the six-year-olds. So it's in that spirit that I offer up today the following metaphor for helping us to try to grapple with what this moment really is. I think AI should best be understood as something like a new digital species. Now, don't take this too literally, but I predict that we'll come to see them as digital companions. 
new partners in the journeys of all our lives. Whether you think we're on a 10, 20, or 30 year path here, this is, in my view, the most accurate and most fundamentally honest way of describing what's actually coming. And above all, it enables everybody to prepare for and shape what comes next. Now, I totally get this is a strong claim, and I'm going to explain to everyone as best I can why I'm making it. But first, let me just try to set the context. From the very first microscopic organisms, life on Earth stretches back billions of years. Over that time, life evolved and diversified. Then a few million years ago, something began to shift. After countless cycles of growth and adaptation, one of life's branches began using tools. And that branch grew into us. We went on to produce a mesmerizing variety of tools. At first, slowly, and then with astonishing speed, we went from stone axes and fire to language, writing, and eventually industrial technologies. One invention unleashed a thousand more, and in time, we became Homo technologicus. Around 80 years ago, another new branch of technology began. With the invention of computers, we quickly jumped from the first mainframes and transistors. To today's smartphones and virtual reality headsets. Information, knowledge, communication, computation. In this revolution, creation has exploded like never before. And now a new wave is upon us artificial intelligence. These waves of history are clearly speeding up as each one is amplified and accelerated by the last. And if you look back, It's clear that we are in the fastest and most consequential wave ever. The journeys of humanity and technology are now deeply intertwined. In just 18 months, over a billion people have used large language models. We've witnessed one landmark event after another. Just a few years ago, people said that AI would never be creative. And yet, AI now feels like an endless river of creativity. Making poetry and images and music and video that stretch the imagination. People said it would never be empathetic. And yet today, millions of people enjoy meaningful conversations with AIs, talking about their hopes and dreams and helping them work through difficult emotional challenges. AIs can now drive cars, manage energy grids, and even invent new molecules. Just a few years ago, each of these was impossible.